Welcome to my video on exponent laws. We begin with any number, any base raised to an exponent is just multiplied by itself by the number of times suggested by the exponent, such as 4 cubed is just 4 times 4 times 4, or 4 multiplied by itself 3 times. That's kind of like saying a cubed is a times a times a, given that a is any base you like. 4 cubed times 4 squared here we're giving an example where the bases are both 4 and so all we do is add the exponents. This is like now to see this it's like saying 4 times 4 times 4 is multiplied by 4 times 4. That's 4 cubed times 4 squared. For a, a to some exponent times a again to some other exponent, we just add the exponents, b plus c. a to the b times a to the c is just a to the b plus c. So here, where I just said that we have 4 cubed times 4 squared gives us 4 multiplied by itself 5 times, so that's 4 to the fifth, which is the same as saying 4 to the 3 plus 2. If a square root is, is if a square is fractional, then we do things a little differently. 2 to the 1 half is just the square root of 2. So that any root, or sorry, any base to the power of 1 half is just the square root of that base. And we don't have to write the 2 inside the square root. We can just leave it out and just say the square root of a. Put the a under the square root symbol. Well, we can't do the same thing with 2 to the 1 third. That's the cube root of 2, and we have to write the 3 inside the square root on the upper part. So a to the 1 over b is just for anything not equal to 2. We have to write in that whatever that b is, and that would be the bth root of a. So just to reinforce, a to the b plus c is a, a to the b times a to the c. And what's true about b and c is true if b and c are even fractions. So a to the 1 over b times a to the 1 over c is like saying a to the 1 over b plus 1 over c. So that's 2 to the 1 half, for example, times 2 to the 1 third is like 2 to the 1 half plus 1 third. So if you're if you can add fractions, you, you would come up with 1 half plus 1 third is 5 over 6, or that's the sixth root of 2 to the power 5. Okay, well what if the what if the bases themselves occur in a fraction? So 7 to the power 5 divided by 7 cubed. That's 7 multiplied itself by 5 times divided by 7 multiplied by itself 3 times. The 7 times 7 times 7 cancels on the top and bottom, and you get 7 times 7 over 1, or 7 squared, or if you like, 49. But this is kind of like saying 5 minus 3 is 2, right? 7 to the 5 minus 3 also gives you 7 squared. So... As a general rule, a to the b divided by a to the c is a to the b minus c. 7 squared divided by 7 cubed. Notice, now the exponent and the denominator is bigger. We end up with 1 over 7 because 7 times 7 cancels. Or 7 to the power of minus 1. That's 7 squared, or sorry, 7 to the 2 minus 3. So we end up with a negative exponent. And that fits our formula that we had earlier, that a to the b over a to the c is a to the b minus c. So that means that anything to the power negative 1 is just the reciprocal of itself. So 6 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 6. 1 half to the power of negative 1 is the reciprocal of 1 half. That's 2 over 1, which is 2. Or a to the power of negative 1 is 1 over a, uh, such that a is not equal to 0. So we can do this with any fraction at all. So 3 quarters uh, raised to the power of minus 2 is like saying 4 thirds to the power of positive 2. We just flip it over and take away the minus sign. And that's like 4 squared over 3 squared, which is the same thing as 16 over 9. 
and so a to the b all to the power of negative c is just b to the c over a to the c. We just flip over a over b and we raise both to the power of positive c in that case. Now what about a to the 0 equals 1? Why is that true? You might have heard about that in class, that a to the 0 is 1. Some number raised to the power of 0, as long as a isn't 0, is equal to 1. How come? Well, let's take a look at a to the b divided by itself. a to the b divided by a to the b is a number divided by itself, which means it must be equal to 1. And if we use our laws of exponents, that's a to the power of b minus b. And we know that b minus b, any number minus itself, is 0. And so we have a to the 0. So this is how we say that a to the 0 is 1. But we provide that a is not equal to 0. a cannot be allowed to be equal to 0. This is because 0 to the power of 0 really has no definition. It's undefined. If you try that on your calculator, you'll get an error. You remember from last time, a to the 1 over b is the bth root of a. So if that's true, well then, what about a to the b over c? We kind of alluded to that earlier. It turns out that a to the b over c is the cth root of a to the b. To take a specific example, let's say we have 5 to the 2 thirds. That's the cube root of 5 squared. Thanks for watching.